<laughs> wow, you decided to upload them to Tinder. Mm -hmm. You think someone will fall for it? No way! A new message! You're being asked out on a date, Arnie! Your harmless social media photo, like millions of others, forms part of a database for facial recognition on the street. In the U.S., every second adult is in the database and can be tracked with the help of 50 million street cameras. Therefore, artificial intelligence with a probability of 99% will find you wherever you are. But not even artificial intelligence can help you with your wardrobe. After all, it's hard to choose between two green t-shirts. Arnold, the main thing is be yourself and act natural. Well, not that much. And there she is. Wow, a real beauty. How did she fall for you? Suspicious. Is she laughing at your jokes? Very suspicious. <laughs> Ten strikes in a row. Entirely suspicious. Arnie, you're a terrible photographer. No way! Is she a robot with artificial intelligence? It seems she doesn't want love from you, Arnold, but something else. You better run, Arnie! The XM25 grenade launcher uses artificial intelligence capable of autonomously recognizing targets and choosing an explosion method. However, the most popular weapons with artificial intelligence remain drones. They can recognize faces from a mile away and do it in no more than two seconds. But who knows, maybe these drones will drop something entirely different than bombs. Arnold, you can't just easily get rid of this cyber lady. Wait. I have an idea. Do you have her phone? Hurry up, you need to somehow disable her. Press the red button. Hey, when did you manage to get to the seaside? So, what's the whole beach set for anyway? Ah, is this to get Bertha's attention? Wow, it actually worked. She invited you to visit her. But, hey buddy, do you have enough money for a ticket? I have an idea. You can fly to Bertha in extra super duper economy class. And instead of the usual tablet and pillow, you're gonna need food, water, and a porta potty. Don't worry, Arnold. You're not the first one to travel like this. Reginald Reg Spears, without any money, got all the way to another continent in just three days. Nowadays, warehouses are like cities with their own laws and regulations. The probability of losing a package is reduced to a minimum. Robots work on the conveyors by reading special barcodes. This reduces the risk of human error. In 2019, China set a world delivery record with 345 million packages delivered in just one day. The worst thing that can happen to a package is that it can get detained in a port at customs. I agree, for the person inside, this ain't like staying at the Ritz. Finding yourself in a confined space under the blazing hot sun is a difficult task to endure. Arnold, hang on, little buddy, it's just a little longer now. To be precise, 23 days, 17 hours, and 45 minutes. And a person is not the most amazing thing ever delivered in a package. An entire bank was transported this way. It was dismantled and sent to another city. Welcome to Australia, Arnold. One of the benefits of traveling by package is courier delivery right to the final destination point. Bertha will be here any minute. Wow, what a babe. Arnold, are you ready? Good look for you, Arnold. What's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. <laughs> Lucky you. <gasps> but now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane because this is the longest flight in the world. Huh? And you screwed up again. <sighs> now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Pew, it stinks like rotten meat. 
If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. This is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines! They can handle even an elephant! Hmm. After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Cow! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, what? and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! Did you know you're participating in a secret experiment to control dreams? Our brain is a supercomputer that works even when we sleep. When you run in a dream, the areas responsible for movement are also active. The same is true with visual images and the visual cortex. These areas are active during real events, which is why dreams feel like reality. But it's just a dream, Arnie. Reality is different. It can be harsh. What's going on? Unfortunately, Arnold, the experiment is not going as planned. Now it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. Being eaten by a homeless dude is not the nicest death, even in a dream. Oh, you woke up. Or did you? In a dream, time passes differently. Due to your slower heartbeat, your body uses less energy, but your brain works at the same speed. Perception of time also depends on the type of dream. You can live a lifetime in a dream, but in reality, only a few minutes will have passed. Hmm, why is everything so weird? Maybe Tagai can tell you. Ah, I see, you're in a lucid dream. This is a state when the body is asleep, but the psyche isn't. You can achieve lucid dreaming through long training and discipline, or you can use psilocybin. Athletes use lucid dreams to practice movements without getting injuries, and they can even be used to cure phobias. Have you ever had a lucid dream? Tell us in the comments. Exiting a lucid dream is more difficult than entering it. Hey, there's an idea. In a dream, you can do anything. And in real life, nothing will happen. Maybe this is how you can live the life you've always dreamed of, Arnie. Although it's pretty unlikely. There's only one way out. That's right, Arnie. You always wake up when you die in a dream because the brain doesn't know what's going to happen after death. Ah, I get it. You've decided to surprise your dream girl. Thumbs up for the effort. Knock on her window as if you're knocking on her heart. How romantic. The kisses of Spider-Man. Who could stand to lose a few pounds? Don't worry, Arnold. Just make sure you land on the strongest bone in your body. Your bones are stronger than concrete. In the lower part of your leg, between the knee and the foot, lies the tibia, a single square millimeter of which can withstand a load of up to 12 kilograms in tension, and up to 16 kilograms in compression. That's seven times stronger than concrete. Imagine houses made of bones. Well, yeah, it is a little bit creepy. Arnold, don't give up. Here's my advice. Try approaching her as a courier delivering pizza. Oops, looks like Tagaya's boyfriend now hates not only pineapple pizza, but also you, buddy. And instead of a kiss from the beauty, you're gonna get another fracture. But don't worry.
There's a silver lining to all of this. It turns out breaking bones can be beneficial. During the healing and fusion process, a sort of cuff made of new bone forms around the fracture site. For the first few weeks of healing, the bone at the fracture site temporarily becomes stronger than usual. Arnold, now that your bones have gotten stronger, it's time to perform a most extreme act. Fly into Tagaya's apartment using a motorcycle and a ramp. I'm sure this stunt will definitely get her attention. Yeah, perhaps you should have practiced first. On average, a fracture takes six to eight weeks to heal. The world record was set by American stuntman Evil Knievel, who sustained 433 fractures. He lived to be 69 years old. Uh, Arnold. Romantic gestures could be life-threatening in your case. Look, is that Tagaya's boyfriend? He has something for you. It seems this couple felt sorry for you, and Tagaya decided to send her regards. What? Really, Arnold? Again? I'd say you're pushing your luck. Are you spying on people? You know, it's not so nice to be a peeping Tom, especially so blatantly. I warned you, Arnold. If you stare at the sun, get ready for eye burns, you numbskull. Our eyes are the road on which light-sensitive cells travel. They love the sun, but from a distance. When you look at the sun, you send them straight into a fire. Also, ultraviolet rays damage the proteins in the eye lens, gradually impairing visibility. Look out, Arnie! Oh no, you've fallen into wet concrete and you can't get out of it. So you're going to have to stare straight at the sun. The longer you look at the sun, the deeper the ultraviolet rays penetrate into your eyes. First, they burn the outer layer, the cornea. Then they damage the proteins in your eye's lens. And then they reach the light-sensitive cells of the retina. So you're not crying anymore, are you, Arnie? That's because there are no more tears left in your eyes. What's that? Could it be a cloud? But today is football day, and the authorities are artificially dispersing all the clouds. But that isn't the worst thing. Ah, you really shouldn't have put those matchsticks in your eyes, buddy. What, you didn't think you'd dream of the sun again? Arnold, you've gone blind! Sun-induced blindness can be central or peripheral. In special cases, night blindness can occur. That's when a person can't see anything in poor lighting. Let's check your vision. Find the like button and press it. This way we'll know your eyes are okay. Wake up, Arnie! I told you that spying on Berta was a bad idea. And these are the consequences. I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain, and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, 
even ordinary tape will do. Oops, it looks like the effect of Dr. Joe's drug is over. Welcome back to normal life, Arnold. Let's see how much weight you can gain. Put simply, to gain extra pounds, you must constantly increase the number of calories you eat. With your weight and lazy lifestyle, it will be enough for you to eat six Snicker bars a day to start gaining excess weight. When you reach 300 kilograms, the Snickers allotment should be 14 bars a day. And when you reach 2,000 kilograms, you'll have to eat, 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 and eat again until you eat 17,000 calories of food a day. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this way, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. So let's suck out a little bit. It seems you're going to need to borrow a bra from your mom. The more fat in a person's body, the more intensively female hormones are produced. Your breasts grow enlarged, your voice becomes thin, and your little friend no longer rises in the morning to salute the new day. Hmm, that's a twist. Looks like Lolita97 has a very jealous husband. Don't go leaning out and trying to lose weight. There's enough fat in your body to sit in a closet without food for three years. You just need to inject some vitamins and drink water. Ah, never mind. Get up, lazy butt! I have something for you, Arnold. You now have just 24 hours to live. I think you should Google what to do in such a situation. Yeah. First, clear your browser history. And here are the top three answers to this burning question. How would you spend the last day of your life with loved ones? I think for you, Arnold, this probably ain't the right answer. The second option is to gorge yourself on junk food. Well, you already do that every day. And finally, number three, spend the day at the ocean with a loved one. Ooh, it just got interesting. Arnold, are you really gonna do what you've been dreaming of all your life? Whoopsie daisy, somebody ran out of gas and money. money. Great idea! You can get a loan and really live it up on your last day. Get the maximum. You'll feel like the richest dude on the planet. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, makes enough money to buy a new Tesla Model S every 50 seconds. You're rich now, Arnold. You can rent your own plane and fly anywhere you want. What are you up to? Wow, you're gonna take Tagaya from her boyfriend and take her on a trip with you. Arnold, you're my hero. Ah, uh, if only we could turn back time and make this moment really last. What if I told you it's possible to keep the day from ending? You need to overtake the sun. To do this, we gotta fly west along the equator at a speed of 1,667 kilometers per hour. If you can fly at that speed, the day will never end. Regrettably, this won't affect your lifetimer in the slightest. It's your last few seconds, Arnold. You're alive! Ah, I see. According to the contract you signed, you have no right to die until you pay off the loan. <laughs> Are you in a hurry to go to your favorite job? But why is everyone so gloomy? 
What? The boss says you beat up Chris yesterday, dumped trash on Jamie's desk, and did something disgusting with Miss Wallet. Of course, you don't remember any of that, but your colleagues don't care. Run, Arnie! This is the end, Bubby. Farewell to your one true love. And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality, or in scientific terms, his alter ego. It's called Dissociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Jacob, unlike Tim and Arnold, doesn't suffer from multiple complexes. He's fearless and sexy, and he'll stop at nothing. Even somebody as petulant as Tagai is intrigued. But there is one thing. Jacob can only speak Dumi, which is a language common to only Eastern Nepal. The alter ego often differs from one's main personality in the language of communication, gender, age, nationality, and even IQ. And in especially exotic cases, the alter ego can be an animal or even a religious figure. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Arnold, just look at what you've done. It seems now you think you're a psycho and you need to be treated. But split personality is not schizophrenia, and there's simply no cure. What's that? An SMS from Tagai. She wants you to come to her now. Inside Arnold, there can be only one. Okay, Arnold. I built a machine that makes things invisible for 24 hours. There are three possible approaches to invisibility. The first is perfect transparency, which sadly we cannot achieve. The second is camouflage, when the light rays emanating from the object correspond to the rays that we would expect to see in the absence of the object. This is exactly what my machine does. And the third and last approach is when an object is swathed in a metamaterial, something like an invisible hat, that transforms the path of light rays so that they seem unchanged. Now, we'll try it on a pizza. If everything works out, it will be a pizza that you won't have to share with your friends. Okay, I'm throwing the first switch. Did you know that the first three-dimensional invisibility was achieved by a group from the University of California, Berkeley in 2008? They created a mesh of silver microfibers that doesn't reflect or absorb light rays. As a result, the eye sees light only from the objects behind the camouflaged entity. Now the second switch. Don't move, Arnold. Wait, what are you? Oh, you are such an imbecile. I'd smack you upside your head, but damn it, I don't know where you are. Put this hat on so I can see you. Okay, you have 24 hours. What are you going to do? Who'd have any doubt that's where you'd go first? If my machine worked according to the principle of invisibility, you'd become blind because the invisible body's refractive index becomes equal to that of air, and the lenses in your eyes would lose the ability to reflect light rays and focus them on the retina. The retina itself also wouldn't be able to absorb visible light with its rods and cones due to its invisibility. But as I can see, your eyesight seems to be okay, you slobbering ignoramus. Okay, now that the gym is closing, can we do something else? You have 18 hours left. I meant something a little more significant, you block-headed jerk monkey. After all, you could reveal terrible secrets and perform incredible feats. 
You could even make your way into Area 51. Oh, right, it's in a different state. Do you have any ideas? Are you thinking about stealing it? That's a terrible idea. In any case, you need a plan. Of course, thanks to invisibility, you'll be able to stay long after closing. But then you'll need to bypass the guards. And there are also lasers all around the diamond. Can you really do a triple somersault, steal the diamond, and leave the museum in the car that will bring new antiquities for the exposition exactly at 2 a.m.? Even so, this is a really bad idea. The museum closes in an hour. Go hide in the corner and wait. And take off your hat, you mutton-headed twit. Get ready, Arnold. The main thing, obviously, is not to get caught. Arnold, it's go time! Aw, oh, nuts! All you had to do was a triple somersault, and you screwed it up again. <sighs> well, now, now you have to run for your life, Arnold! The exit is just around the corner. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Damn, looks like you stole a glass copy of the diamond. Well, I gotta say this is an unfortunate turn of events. Although, to be honest, it's pretty logical that the original would be kept in a safe. Now you'll never have the love of the beautiful tug eye. Unfortunately, you're gonna become visible in just about an hour or so. So, good luck escaping. Arnold went on an intergalactic cruise. After coming back on the 27th, he returned to find not a single male left on Earth. Everything has gone wrong. Telephones and microwaves don't work. Uber has been replaced with bicycles and horse-drawn carts. Instead of lamps and houses, candles have been lit again. This is because all of the areas in which mostly men previously worked have now ground to a halt. Arnold, why are you running away? Every day, your body produces up to 70 million spermatozoa. You could physically fertilize up to eight women per day. But since many have disdained even touching you, it was decided to artificially plant your seed in the egg cells. And so the number of pregnant women has increased to 15 million. Now, you're not just more popular than all the Kardashian sisters put together. You become a matter of national importance. Women please you and carefully examine you. But there's a flip side to all of this. You're a prisoner, and you have no right to leave the country or evade your obligations. Your seed is now worth more than any precious metal in the world, and soon will instigate a third world war. It will all end in... No, in 14 years, when the boys begin to enter that transitional age, and the first seed appears. Papa! Ah! Arnold, have you actually started living a healthy lifestyle? Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're gonna have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why.
Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. 